You might have clicked on this video and be thinking, what's the point I'm watching this? I'm not gluten free. Well, stay watching because although we're going to be talking about the three best gluten free takeaways in Edinburgh, these three takeaways are also really, really good for people that do eat gluten. So stay tuned to find out more. just a brief backstory about the reason why we're doing this video. A few, well a couple of months ago um, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition called Graves disease, quite an unfortunate name really, um, but what it results in is um, basically my thyroid attacking itself and producing too much thyroid hormone. Not pleasant. So. I'm now on medication for it, but I did a bit of my own research and found that there have been studies to show that by cutting gluten out from my diet, that can aid in the, the healing process um, of this autoimmune condition and actually lots of autoimmune conditions um, because gluten can actually be a trigger for some of these conditions. Uh, also dairy actually can too, but we're taking it one step at a time. So, um, after learning that fact, I decided that I was going to attempt to cut out gluten from my diet and that is what we've been doing for the last few weeks. I have also decided to go gluten free, um, not because I have to, but because I want to support Romana and also it's easy just for both of us to be on the same kind of page when it comes to cooking dinners and things like that. But I tell you something, I would really recommend it because I feel, in about four or five weeks, I feel less bloated. I feel less lethargic. I feel I've got more energy. So, do you know what? It's worth giving it a go, even for a month, to see how you feel. I think now is actually a really good time to become gluten-free because there's so many options now. I think if we'd been in this position a few years ago, it would have been a lot harder. But now, in the supermarkets and things, there's a lot, you know, a much bigger kind of gluten-free range and also for eating out and things. So, on today's vlog, we do like a takeaway, you know. Um, on a Saturday night, that is our little treat. So, we went on a kind of mission to find a Chinese, a pizza, and a fish and chip place that did gluten-free, that tasted really, really good. And we think we found three pretty good places. We've decided to do a little bit of a series um, of gluten-free, um, places in Edinburgh so obviously this one is the takeaway one but in future we will be doing like best breakfast, best lunch, best dinner gluten free. They won't be kind of like one after the other we will be interspersing them with other vlogs um, but keep your eyes peeled for those and if you do actually have any gluten free suggestions um, in Edinburgh then let us know in the comments below because we are compiling a list. But without further ado let's start with our best gluten free fish and chip takeaway in Edinburgh. So Fish at Haymarket is located on Clifton Terrace just opposite Haymarket train station so it's very central and we opted for haddock and chips. They also do cod and I think they may also have some other gluten free options. This was super tasty, like literally the batter was really crispy, it had a slightly saltiness to it that just really brought all the flavours up, um, so it was really really nice. The chips were great as well, I believe they also offer um, sweet potato fries, so we may have to try them in future. If there was one thing I could say that would make this sensational, it would be if they offered gluten-free chippy sauce. Um, at the time of filming, they didn't, but hopefully in the future, that is something that they will offer. But we really enjoyed our meal and uh, definitely this is gonna be one of our regular chippies from now on. And if you put in a gluten-free order, they do actually fry it in a completely separate uh, fryer, which is really good to know, especially if you're celiac. So if you order online, they actually have a discount code for new customers, which gives you 15% off your meal, which is really, really um, great value. But even without the discount code, it comes to roughly kind of £10 each for a fish, gluten-free fish supper. Um, that is a bargain. When it tastes that good, I will pay it. So yes, really, really like it. 
Ho Han Chinese takeaway and actually restaurant as well is located very close to fish. Um, it's also located at Haymarket on Haymarket Terrace. I had the sweet and sour king prawn and Ewan had the salted chili crispy chicken. Mine was really beautiful. There was lots of chilli, lots of nice shredded peppers, onion and carrots. It was a little bit on the spicy side. For me there was a little bit too much chilli, but we've ordered from them since and just asked for slightly less chilli and it was a lot uh, better for my palate. It wasn't quite as hot. Um, we also got salt and chilli chips which were really tasty and some rice. So for all that the total came to 20 pounds and 80 pence. If you're celiac, they can fry your fruit in a separate fryer. You just need to give them plenty of advance notice. For us, we didn't opt for that. We just asked for gluten-free, but it could be fried in the same oil. Um, obviously for us, it's not quite as important as obviously someone who is celiac. Um, but all in all, we really liked this. Sweet and Sour King Prawn is always like my go-to uh, Chinese dish pre going gluten free. So it was really great to find somewhere that also offered this dish that tasted pretty much like it used to. So big thumbs up. So this pizza place is actually really close to the chip shop we went to and also the Chinese. So they're all kind of in, you know, the same area. So Pommel Pizzeria we had been to before, we had sampled their pizza before we went gluten free and it was always really tasty. So we decided to sample their gluten free and I went for a Parma pizza which had really delicious Parma, Parma ham, Parmesan and rocket and Ewan went for the Pommel Porchetta which was uh, four cheeses, porcini mushroom and pork roast loin. We were not disappointed with these pizzas. They were seriously tasty. Honestly, if we'd been blindfolded, we wouldn't have known which one was the gluten-free. Uh, it tasted just like a normal pizza. What I will say though, is that they were an extra £2.50 each for a gluten-free base, which seemed a little bit much to me. I understand that perhaps, um, you know, the price needs to be a little bit more if they're having to use gluten-free flour, but £2.50 per pizza does seem a little bit much. Also, the price that we paid for takeaway was actually the same price we would have paid had we eaten in the restaurant, which seemed a bit bizarre to me. I always thought that if you were kind of taking food away, it would be slightly cheaper than the price it would be to eat in the restaurant but apparently not I wasn't when we went which was a bit weird but anyway we really liked the pizza and I'm sure we will definitely be back there for some more gluten-free goodness so the price for two gluten-free these two gluten-free pizzas came to 25 pounds and 45 pence so it definitely was the most expensive out of the three takeaways that we tried if you have been to any of the takeaways we've mentioned today um, let us know did you like them? Did you not like them? Were they too expensive? And if you know of any other gluten-free um, places we can visit um, and do a vlog on, then pop them in the comments. That'd be really much appreciated. We're really trying to grow this channel and we really want to keep bringing you exciting content. We want to show you new places. We've got lots of actually exciting things coming up. We're going to do a vlog in a couple of weeks with some exciting news about future plans. But the only way that we can keep bringing these videos is if we get our subscriber numbers up. It's a really slow process and it's quite disheartening sometimes because we put a lot of work into these videos and the subscriber number just isn't really increasing as fast as we would like. So if you have enjoyed this vlog, please do consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. And equally, if you're someone that watches the vlogs every week, then please do hit the subscribe button. It's free to you, but it would really help us and it will just mean that we can keep bringing you this content, which we really love to do. Do. So thank you for watching as always and we will see you next Friday.